right a coil of 2000 turns surrounds a flux of 5 millivapor produced by the permanent magnet the magnet is suddenly drawing away causing the flux inside the coil to drop to 2 millivapor in 0 0.1 second what is the average induced emf okay so i think many had uh, calculated okay very good very good mahesh has calculated very good ma rashmita okay we will just discuss and then we will move on okay so n is given n is equal to 2000 okay and flux is in 5 is equal to 5 milliweber so it should be always taken as 5 into 10 power minus 3 Okay, the magnet is suddenly drawn, causing the flux inside the coil to drop to 2 millivapor. Okay, so the second flux. So let me take this as 5 1 and this as 5 2. The difference of flux will be d5 by dt. Okay, 2 into 10 power minus 3. This is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 3. And the time period is equal to 0 0.1 seconds. Okay. So directly from the formula, you can directly from the data is given, you can write the formula, right? What is the formula? You first tell me the formula. What is the formula? Tell me. Yes. Yes, very good. N D five by D T. Okay. So, all the values are there. Just calculate and tell me the answer. First, first, E is equal to N D5 by DT. D5 will be 5 minus 2, so that is going to be 3. Okay. Tell me the answer, Ma. Answer, many of them have got it. Okay. Yes, 60 volts is the answer. Yes, 60 volts is the answer. Very good. Many have got. Right? 60 volts. If you have not worked out, please take a snapshot of this. Right? I think we can proceed. This is a simple problem. We can proceed to the next one. Who have not worked out, please take a snapshot or... Uh, just check out the formula. Right, the next one. A current of 5 amperes when flowing through a coil of 1000 turns establishes a flux of 0 0.3 millivapors. Determine the inductance of the coil. Okay, now it is directly given. They are asked to calculate the inductance. Okay. So what formula has to be used? Right. Now see here. Ma'am, I'm I'm Ma'am, I'm recording the session, ma'am. Ah, okay, ma'am. Okay. Ah, okay, ma'am. Right now, current I is given as five amperes. I is equal to five. Flux is given. Okay, flux is going to be zero point three millivolts. What is the formula? You tell me, ma'am. Zero point three into ten power minus three. N is equal to 1000. Yeah, I'm getting many answers. Very good. So the formula for self-inductance is L is equal to N phi by I. Okay, what is the answer? Directly substitute, simplify and tell me the answer. L is equal to N phi by I. I want the answer. Yes, yes, very good. Many are... Many have told me the answer also. 
0.06 centri. Just direct substitution, you will get the answers. Sushma, Ajay Reddy, very good, very good. Right. I think next we can move on to the next one. A coil of 1500, this is also a similar problem. A coil of 1500 turns carries a current of 10 amperes, establishes a flux of 0 0.5 milliwebers. Find the inductance of the coil. So the inductance, as you know, it is going to be N5 by I. Okay. So direct substitution, just check whether you're getting this answer. 0 0.075 entry or 75 into 10 power minus 3 entry, anything. Just tell me whether you're getting this answer so that we can proceed. First. I'll wait for one minute. Okay. Yes, many of them have got the answer. Yeah, 0 0.075 entry. Okay. So I think you will feel this unit as very, very easy. Just direct substitution of the formulas. Right, you will get the answers. Okay, next one. Your coil as self-inductance of 10 entry. Okay. If a current of 20 milliamps is reduced to zero, in a time of 1 milliseconds, find the average value of induced EMF across the terminals of the coil. Okay. Now you tell me what formula has to be used first. So L is given, L is equal to 10 entry, okay. Current is given, so you have to use E is equal to L dr by dt formula, okay. So 200 milliamps is 10 power minus 3, time is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 3. Okay, so E is equal to L di by dt. What is the answer you tell me, ma? All the small, small problems, just we can uh, go faster. When you are getting the correct answer, very good. Yes. Zero point zero five noma. Two thousand volts is the right answer. Just check out two thousand volts. Two thousand volts, many of them have got. Okay. Right. I think we can proceed to the next one. All are simple substitution problems. So I'm going faster. That's all. Okay. Nothing to understand. Just uh, physically you're writing the formula and you're substituting. Okay. Those who have not got the answer, you can just have a view on this.
Okay, next. An air core solenoid has four hundred turns. Its length is thirty centimeter and cross sectional area five centimeter square. Calculate the self inductance. Okay. Now this one you have to calculate. See, n is equal to four hundred has been given. Length is given. Length is thirty centimeters. So thirty centimeters will be thirty into ten power minus two. Thirty into ten power minus two. Okay, and cross sectional area area is equal to. Five centimeter square. Five into centimeter square, so it will be ten power minus four. So you had been asked to calculate the self inductance. So self inductance formula, you can take this formula. We have already derived it. Uh, L is equal to n square by s. Okay, or s formula you already know. What is the formula for s? S is the reluctance. S is equal to L by Mu not mu r into y. Okay. L value is given. L is going to be thirty centimeters. Okay. Ah, L is equal to n square by a. Very good. Very good, ma'am. So calculate now. So yes is equal to L by mu not mu r y. L value is given. Okay, L is going to be thirty centimeters. Thirty into ten power minus two. What is mu not value? Mu not is going to be permeability, right? So mu not value is four pi into ten power minus seven. What is mu r value? Mu r value. What is mu r value? It has been given air core solenoid. So the relative permeability of air should be considered. Okay, relative permeability of air is going to be one. So mu r value is one. Okay, and cross sectional area of five centimeter square. So area you have to take five centimeter square, five into ten power minus four. Okay, now calculate for me the uh, yes value first. Reluctance value I wanted fast. Reluctance value first calculate, then you can proceed for L is equal to n square by s formula. Reluctance, you have got the values. Yes, four seventy seven into ten power six. Yes, very good. Four seventy seven into ten power six. Or if you alter the power of ten, the value will change accordingly. Four seventy seven point four. You can take four seventy seven point four into ten power six. Okay. Four seventy seven into ten power six approximately. Okay. Now next calculate L value. L is equal to n square by s. N value is given. N is going to be the number of turns with four hundred value, right? Now calculate and uh, tell me the self inductance value. The unit for self. What is the unit for self inductance? What is the unit for self inductance, ma? The unit is same for self inductance and mutual inductance. Inductance. What is the unit? No, I don't know. I am not getting anything in the chat box. Why? Right. Entry. Very good. Very good. Entry for mutual inductance. For inductance, it is going to be the unit is going to be entry. Okay. Now calculate for this 
L value, what? How much have you got? You got the answer. Please post me. Are you more fast? No one has got the answer. Yes, three thirty five. Three point five five into ten power minus three. Yes, many had got. Okay, we'll proceed. I will show you the answer slide. Three point three five into ten power minus four. Okay, you can either calculate reluctance and then you can go like this, or you can substitute the direct value. Into L is equal to n square by s formula, and then you can solve it directly also. No issues for that. Are you just uh, take down the formulas or take a snapshot of this? We will be anyway circulating this PPT today. Okay, today we are completing the third unit. We will be circulating this. Uh, PPT the en entire consolidated PPT for third unit in the both the Telegram link and the group. Okay. Are you you've done? I hope you have done. Okay, we will proceed with the next one. Okay. Now, this problem you have to listen. Okay, this uh, somewhat builder uh, bigger problem, and many times it has been asked in the university questions. This uh, type of problem. All those what we had discussed is part A. Okay, part B uh, problems like this you make it. Okay, or. Uh, the previous problems in part B for six marks or four marks, you make it. Okay, now listen this question: the number of turns in the coil is two fifty. When a current of two amps flows in the coil, the flux is zero point three millivolt. When this current is reduced to zero in two milliseconds, the voltage induced in the coil lying in the vicinity of the coil is sixty three point seven five volts. If the coefficient of coupling K Between the coil is zero point seven five. Find the self inductance of two coils, mutual inductance, and the number of turns in the second coil. Okay, so they are given two coils, right? Details for uh, some uh, some details for coil one and some details for coil two has been given, and you have been asked to find L one, L two, okay, and the mutual inductance. Also, the number of turns in the second coil. So n two you have to find. Find okay. So what all is given? The number of turns in the coil. So I will take this as the first coil. So n one is equal to two fifty. Current of two amperes. So I am taking i one is equal to two amperes. Flows in the coil. The flux is zero point three. So I will take phi one. So n one phi one i one. The details I have got. When this current is reduced to zero in two milliseconds. So The current of two amps is going to reduce to zero. Okay, so the reduced final value is zero. The voltage induced in the coil lying in the vicinity is sixty three point seven five. So vicinity means it is going to be mutually induced EMF. So EEM is equal to sixty three point seven five. Okay, and it is the current is reduced to zero in two milliseconds. So time is also given as two milliseconds. Coefficient of coupling. Coefficient of coupling K is given as zero point seven five. Okay, now you have to find out L one, L two, 
okay m then n n two number of turns in the second coil okay now as per the data given i think you can find out l1 okay l1 what is the formula l1 is equal to n1 phi1 by i1 okay find out first l1 next mutually induced emf is given okay and the current change of current is given so you can take em formula em is equal to m into di1 by uh, dt formula okay because change, rate of change of current is given so with this you can find out the mutual inductance okay now l1 is found out m is find out there is a relationship between coefficient of coupling and the mutual inductance right k is equal to uh, you have to apply that formula k is equal to m by square root of l1 l2 okay apply that formula so you will get l2 till this you do first then we can go in for n2 with the help of mutual inductance formula we have to calculate the n2 value okay so first calculate l1 you tell me the l1 answer first Yelvan answer I wanted. Ah, Yelvan many had got. Very good. Okay. After Yelvan, we are going to calculate mutual uh, mutual inductance. Okay. You see here. L one n five one by I one. Okay, direct substitution you will get zero point zero three seven five in the. Okay, many had got this very good. Next, we will be using m is equal to k by square root of L one L two to calculate L two value. So before that we have to calculate m value. So I told you apply this formula. M is equal to m d I one by d t. Okay, and find out the value of m. Check this value sixty three point seven five. You are getting and tell me. M value are you getting? But don't raise and last five minutes I will check your doubts. Okay. Baswaraj, I will clear your doubts in the last five minutes. Yeah, are you getting it as sixty-three point seven five direct uh, substitution of the formula and simplification? You will get it. Yes, Yogi B. Yes, Yogi. What is your doubt? Unmute yourself. Okay. Sixty-three point seven five. Vicinity means. See, vicinity means it is nearby location. So nearby location, they they just want to indicate that it is not the uh, self-induced EMF. It is going to be the mutually induced EMF. right so they wanted to tell it is mutually induced emf so only they are telling it is the self vicinity okay right now m you had got l1 you had got so you can directly substitution substitute in this and find out l2 value so you know m is equal to k by square root of l1 l2 okay now l2 is only the unknown parameter all others you have calculated so calculate and give the answer fast fast l2 l2 alone we need it l2 alone we need it much whether you are getting 193 milli entry you tell me then only i can proceed see 63 uh, We had got m value as sixty three point seven five into ten per minus three. Okay. See if this is tough for calculation, you can proceed like this. M square square the entire expression 
M square is equal to K square by L1, L2. Okay. Or you wanted to know only L2 value. So L2 is equal to So L2 is equal to K square by M square L1. Right? I think now it will be simple. I wanted L2 value K square. K you already know. Get me the answer. Are you getting 193 million entry? Check this. Post me in the chat box, man, waiting. One ninety three million. Yes, the answer is right. Okay, one ninety three million. Right now, next you have to find out n two value. Right, you have to find out n two value. So for that, we are using mutual inductance formula. Okay, e m two is equal to n two d five by two d five two by d t. Now. I wanted phi two or rate of change of flux value, right? So I will convert this in terms of phi one because the final flux is not given. Phi two value is not given. Instead, phi one value is given, right? And k value is given. So you can substitute here. E m two is equal to okay, or E m is equal to n two d k phi one by d t. Okay, now k value you know E M two is equal to N two into k value is zero point seven five, five one is zero point three into ten power minus three. We have already seen that five one it has been given in the problem itself. See here, zero point three into ten power minus three, and the time period is two into ten power minus three. Okay, so you know the mutual inductance is sixty three point seven five. So substitute this and find out the value of N two. Just check this answer. Simple calculation only. Just rearrangement of the expressions. Fast man. I think here the expression is wrong. Okay, this should be the denominator, and this should be in the numerator. But the answer is right. One ninety three million is right. Okay. Now, are you getting the n two value? If you're getting, you tell me. We will proceed. I'll wait for your answers.
just rearrangement of the expressions right yes 567 turns yes 567 turns yeah right very good many had got it okay right with this we are completing third unit okay now third unit we had discussed about the magnetic circuits in the electromagnetic induction right so third unit is completed you can proceed with your assignment the assignment has been posted in the satyabhama lms okay if you want i will also have a copy here i'm also having a copy here i will just uh, show you the assignment once again right i think you are able to see the assignment are you able to see yes okay wait ma wait ma we will go on by on wait see this is the assignment one posted in the lms okay it is for 15 marks from this the internal marks will be calculated okay it is very very easy assignment five uh, fill in the blanks five short answers and one long question okay so the objective type itself 10 marks will be covered and one long question long question is a, a small derivation explain the types of induced emf in the magnetic circuit so you have to write theory questions okay uh, wait one minute uh, ma yes ma'am ma you wanted to we can give the last uh... Day to submit the assignment, ma'am. Ma'am, one week shall we give? Because this is very very simple. One week will be sufficient, I think. Okay, ma'am. Actually, we will give till fifteen, ma'am. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Kindly announce, ma'am. Ah, okay. Ma'am, see, fifteenth is the last date. Okay, fifteenth we are given uh, around uh, one minute. So today is Wednesday, ninth uh, December. Okay. so we are we have given one week time till next tuesday okay 15th december so 15th december before 11 o'clock before uh, 11 pm please upload your assignment okay you yeah, are write the question and answer it is going to be very simple you are going to write only the uh, one word right so please write the question and then answer it okay next tuesday i think next tuesday 15 till next tuesday ma 15 okay you have to write and you have to upload in the lms itself this assignment is there in the lms it is posted in the lms in this subject okay you please download that you write your answers and upload your document your name and register your name and roll number is must okay definitely it should be there you have to save the document whatever the pdf you are going to send send only in pdf okay pdf should be saved with your roll number followed by the uh, name okay it is given all the uploading details has been given also in the lms so please follow that and upload as soon as possible before next tuesday before 15 okay that time is more more sufficient for you because it will uh, it will uh, necessarily take only 15 minutes okay right now in third unit now we will have a small revision okay of the entire third unit now uh, before that uh, you uh, wanted me to show the uh, previous problems right okay i will just share this yeah uh, somewhere asking for the previous problem okay just check out i'll wait for 2 minutes then we will move on to the revision
recorded classes will be posted ma okay can we get more part b problems to solve this unit yeah i'm going to discuss more in that okay question you wanted uh, LMS in the LMS the third uh, the assignment one has been posted ma you can go through it okay you have to write and necessarily upload it okay right now we will have a small revision of the third unit okay whatever doubts you have you can ask now. Right about the mutual inductance in the coefficient of coupling you wanted. Okay. Right. We were discussing the coefficient of coupling yesterday. Coefficient of coupling, uh, you define that as a fraction of the flux induced in the other coil divided by the total flux. Now, let me uh, explain this arrangement again. Today we will send one. Okay. Okay. I will just explain this uh, arrangement. So consider two coils, co coil one and coil two. Coil one and coil two. Okay. A supply is given to coil one. Let me take the supply as uh, V1. Okay. Or the voltage V1. This voltage produces the current I1. Okay. Indirectly, indirect which. Uh, induces a flux phi 1. Okay, this flux phi 1 induces a part of the flux to the neighboring coil. Let us take that as phi 1 2. Okay, so when it is phi 1 2, this flux phi 1 2 which is getting induced in the second coil produces a current I2 and naturally an induced EMF E2 is generated in the second coil. Okay, so now let us define the coefficient of coupling. Coefficient of coupling is always represented by k. It has no units. Okay. K is equal to, if this is the case, 512 by 512. 512 is going to be the flux which is going to be uh, which is going to be uh, linked with the second coil divided by the total flux. Okay. Now, if the arrangement is in the reverse, if I'm going to give a supply here, in the second coil and then it is going to reflect uh, it is going to induce a uh, current i2 and uh, it is going to give a flux phi 2 the reverse way okay so let us draw the coil like this okay this is the first coil and this is the second coil okay now let me take a emf or a supply is given here so or let me take it as b2 okay b2 or e2 it is going to generate a current i2 okay and it induces a flux phi2 okay now the flux linked with the second coil is phi21 okay now this phi21 induces a current i1 and naturally, a EMF E1 is induced here. Okay. Now, what is the coefficient of coupling? Now, how to define the coefficient of coupling? Now, in the first case, we have defined it as 5 and 2 by 5. In the second case, we have to define by the flux induced in the other coil. So, the flux induced in the other coil is 5 to 1. Okay, five two one divided by the total flux generated. Total flux generated is five two. Clear? I hope this is clear now. Now, because of mutual inductance, we will be deriving the value of m. M is equal to n two five two by i one. If in the first case, okay, the first case here. Yeah. This is the first case, and this is the second case. Okay, 
so m is equal to n two phi one two by i one, and in the second case you will have it as m is equal to n one phi two one by i two. Okay, so now uh, multiplying this both equation. Okay, so yeah, uh, left hand side will be m square, and we are multiplying this. So n two phi one two by i one into n one phi two one by i two. Okay, now we know the expression for the coefficient of coupling. So Directly, we'll write phi one two is equal to k into phi one, or phi two one is equal to k into phi. Okay, so here you substitute these values in the place of phi one two and phi two one. Please substitute those values. Okay, so when you substitute here and pull out, you will have k square. Okay, so this can be written k square, or I will go to the next slide. Okay, so two k, I will write it as k square. Yen one phi one by i one. I am grouping it such that I can substitute the value of the self integrals. Okay, and the next expression will be yen two phi two by i two. So I am just grouping together. So this will this I will call it as yel one. In this I will call it as this I will call it as yel two, and this I will call it as yel one. Okay, so m square is equal to k square into yel one yel two, or k is equal to m by Square root of l one l two. Okay, k is equal to m by square root of l one l two. Right? Right. These are the important formulas. Anyway, we will again revise. Wait. No coefficient of coupling. If they ask the proof, you have to write. Okay, but many times they had asked it. Okay. Now I will move to the. Next one, we will revise the formulas and then we will come out. Okay. Any other doubts you have in third unit, you can please tell me. Any doubts is there? Okay. right this is just a small revision in the third unit okay so whatever we have done we have just consolidated and put it in a ppt for you okay magnetic flux you know magnetic flux is equal to phi is equal to b into a phi is equal to b into a okay And MMF, MMF is called as the magnetomotive force, and S is called as the reluctance. Okay, you have one more formula for magnetic flux, uh, magnetomotive force. MMF is given by the formula N into I. Okay, or MMF is also equal to phi by S, where phi is the flux and S is going to be the reluctance. The unit for MMF is ampere turns. So they may ask you to derive the to find out the value of magnetomotive force or to find out the value of ampere turns. Anything. Okay, so if they ask to find calculate the ampere turns, so necessarily it means that you have to calculate the MMF. Okay, the formula for yes reluctance is MMF by flux. Okay, and this is called as Ohm's law of magnetism. Okay, yes is always compared to resistance. MMF is uh, compared to EMF. Okay, and flux is compared to current. Okay, so uh, reluctance is equal to MMF by flux will be the Ohm's law of magnetism. As you have V is equal to I R, the same way we have it. Okay, and reluctance S is equal to L by mu naught mu R. E. Clear? The magnetic flux formula, same way whatever we have written here, B is equal to pi by A, or you can also call it as B is equal to mu into H, where mu is the product of mu naught and mu R. Mu naught is the absolute permeability, and mu R is going to be the relative permeability of the medium. So, according to the medium. The uh, relative permeability value changes. Okay, or you can uh, you can also define magnetic field strength. B is equal to mu into h. Okay, or h value magnetic field strength, or it is also called as magnetic field intensity. H is equal to n i by l. Okay, n i is called the MMF. Okay. MMF by length also you can call it, and the unit for h is ampere turn per. Meter. Okay. What is permeance? Permeance is the inverse of reluctance. Okay. In unit is 
Weber per ampere turn. So reluctance you see here. Reluctance we have ampere turn per Weber, and permeance is the reverse of that. Okay. Next permeability. I told you mu is equal to mu naught by mu naught into mu watt. Next dynamically induced EMF. Okay, dynamically induced EMF E is equal to BLV sine theta if it is moving if the conductor is moving at an angle theta. Okay, or if it is moving in a linear straight line, you will just have it as E is equal to BLV. Okay, uh, EMF itself the unit is going to be volts only. Okay, self induced EMF you can have the formula as EM is equal to N d phi by dt or E is equal to L di by dt. This formula will come in mutual inductance. Mutually, this is the mutual induced EMF. Okay, EM is the mutual induced EMF. This is the mutually induced EMF. Okay, self inductance, we have uh, two formulas. L is equal to N phi by I and L is equal to N square by S. Okay, mutual inductance, you can have it as M is equal to N2 N2 512 by I1 or N1 521 by I2. Okay. The unit is N3. Coefficient of coupling K is equal to M by square root of L1 L2. Okay. And energy stored in the inductor. Uh, energy stored in the inductor, sometimes they had asked. The formula is half into L I square. Okay. Where L is the inductance, I is the current flowing. And uh, the unit is joules. Energy itself, the unit is joules. Okay. Right. Now, we have just grouped some questions which have been repeated many times. Okay, these are the university questions. We will just have a quick revision of this and then we will move to the next part. Okay, part A, state Faraday's law of induction. So, Faraday's law of induction, you know, whenever there is going to be a, there is going to be a movement in the conductor or in the magnetic field, an EMF is induced. Second law, you will write it as E is equal to N into D phi by dt. Okay. Rate of change of flux. Right. Second one, distinguish between statically and dynamically induced EMF. Uh, statically is going to be stationary. No, there is no movement of conductor or the coil. Okay. Dynamically induced EMF. Dynamically induced EMF. It is related with the movement, either the conductor nor the magnetic uh, field moves. Okay. So, this is the difference. Statically means stationary. Dynamically means it is involved with movement. Movement can be with respect to conductor or the magnetic field. Define magnetic flux. You know, phi is equal to, you can write it with respect to area. Phi is equal to B by A. Sorry, B is equal to phi by A. Okay. Or you will have the formula B is equal to phi by A. So you can write phi is equal to B by A with respect to flux density and area. Okay. Where statically induced EMF is produced? Give me an example. Statically induced EMF. Statically induced, uh, dynamically induced EMF, you can write either the generator or the motor. Okay, define lens law. Lens law E is equal to minus N D phi by dt. Okay, it uh, tells that the direction of the voltage is going to be opposite to the cost producing it. Okay, right. An air cored solenoid, a problem is given. We will just discuss the problem. An air cored solenoid. A 50 centimeter length and 10 centimeter in diameter is bound with 1500 turns. Find the inductance if mu is given. Okay, now see here, uh, solenoid length is given. So, L is given 50 centimeter. So, convert it into meters, 50 into 10 power minus 2. Okay, and 10 centimeter in diameter. 10 centimeter in diameter means they are given the value for calculation of the area. Okay, so 10 centimeter means you will have it as 5 centimeter as the radius. So, pi r square you can use because they have told you the solenoid. Solenoid, it is going to be a circular one. Okay. So, so for if it is a circle, it is going to be the area is pi r square. It's found with 1500 turns. So, n is also given. Okay. So, see here. Okay. 
in that tense, we had uh, worked out one formula, one uh, problem like this, right? Inductance has been asked to be measured. L is equal to n square by s. Okay. Yes, we have the formula L by mu naught mu r. Now, length is going to be 50 centimeters. So, you put it as 15 to 10 power minus 2. Mu naught 4 pi into 10 power minus 7. Mu r, it is going to be air core to solenoid. So, air core to solenoid means the relative permeability of air is going to be 1. So, mu r is equal to 1. Area, 10 centimeter diameter they had given. Diameter they had given means you have to calculate the radius. Radius is 5 into 10 power minus 2. And as it is a solenoid, you have to take pi r square. Okay. So you will calculate yes first and then you will substitute here uh, to calculate the value of inductance. Okay. N square by s, you will get the value for inductance. Okay. Right. The next question, give the difference between statically and dynamically induced EMF. This is many times us, so be confident about this answer. What is mutual inductance? Mutual inductance we have already read. Okay, if it is going to be a change in the neighboring coil, the, if there is going to be a rate of change of flux or current in the neighboring coil, the EMF induced in the other coil is going to be the mutually induced EMF and the factor is called as the mutual induction. Okay, Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, we have already seen it. Okay, and some of the part B questions also we had uh, put for you for a just quick revision. Okay, write notes on magnetic leakage and retentivity. All this ma'am has taught you, right? So magnetic uh, leakage, you have to talk about the lambda value. Okay, and retentivity, you have to just write notes. Okay, you can explain with respect to BH. Okay, derive an exp expression for Ohm's law of magnetism. I told you the Ohm's law of magnetism, right? Here, yeah. phi is equal to phi is equal to mmf by reluctance or s is equal to mmf by flux. Okay, this is the Ohm's law of magnetism. Okay, uh, describe the analogy of electric and magnetic circuits with case studies. See, analogy of electric and magnetic circuits very, very, very important. Many times they are repeated. In almost all the papers, this question will be present. Okay, you have to write all the differences because it is going to be a part B question. So, the entire uh, difference, whatever we had done, uh, explain you as to be written. Okay. Explain the principles of electromagnetic induction, principle by Fleming's law with necessary diagram. So, if they ask electromagnetic induction, you have to necessarily write from first what is electromagnetic induction, how it is induced. Okay. Starting from there, you have to explain what is Faraday's law, what is Lenz's law, the Fleming's law, left hand rule, right hand rule, and then the division. Uh, Induced EMF, types of induced EMF, everything. Okay, as it is a part B, please put it with respect to diagram and explain. Okay, diagram is very much expected. Without the diagram, you cannot score marks. Okay, next, state and explain Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. We have already done this. Fleming's rule, right hand rule, left hand rule, both. Okay, write short notes of the electromagnetic induction, same thing. What are self and mutual inductance for a magnetic circuit and derive the Expression for the same. So, first you have to explain what is self in, self inductance. Okay, explain self induced EMF, then self inductance, then give some expressions, derive some expressions for self inductance. Uh, two formulas we have right. L is equal to n phi by i, and L is equal to n square by s. That formula. And for mutual inductance, you have to necessarily uh, derive the expression. EM is equal to m into di by dt di1 by dt, okay, and also derive the expression with respect to coefficient of uh, coupling, okay, right, now the next question, all these are problems, we will just see, right, a coil of 1000 turns of a wire uniformly wound on a non-magnetic ring of mean diameter 40 centimeter, and cross-sectional area 20 square centimeter, okay, calculate the inductance, energy stored, and the EMF induced if the current is completely interrupted in 0 0.01 seconds. Okay. See here, I've just put the expressions. Ah. Now, just listen here. Coil of 1000 turns. So, they had given you 1000. Okay. Diameter. So, diameter is 40 centimeter. So, diameter 40 centimeter means it means the radians, radius is 20 centimeter. And 
cross section area is 20 cm square so 20 cm square so the uh, area is also given okay area is given 20 cm square 20 m square means you have to take it as 10 power minus 4 okay definitely calculate the inductance so inductance of the coil we had already calculated by using the same formulas L is equal to N square by S. Okay, N square by S means you have to calculate S first. Okay, S is equal to L by mu naught mu R A. Okay, all the values are given. See, L is given. L is equal to 2 pi R naught. Okay, they are told of a solenoid. So, you have to calculate, you have to find out the length. Okay, by mu naught, you know value, mu R See, they have not given your mu r value, right? Mu r is going to be the relative permeability of the medium. Okay, relative permeability of the medium is not given means you uh, you put a word that as it is not given, we are going to assume that as an air core to solenoid or air core to coil and take mu r value as one. Your mu r value is not given, so you have to take this one. Okay, and area calculated by pi r as well. Okay, yes, you are now, yes, you know it. Okay. Now, substitute here, L is equal to N square by S, right? Now, next question, you have to calculate the energy stored in the magnetic field with a current of 15 amperes. So, energy stored, we have already seen the formula. E is equal to Li square, okay? Inductance, you would have calculated here. Current is going to be 15 amperes. Ma, we are continuing the next hour also. So, no issues that the time is going on. Okay, we are continuing with the next hour also. We will finish the session by 10.30. Okay. Right. Half into Li square. So, substitute this formula. You will get the energy stored. Okay. The next EMF induced in the coil, they are asked. E is equal to L di by dt. L di by dt, you have to use. L is given. Okay. The, what they are told is. If the current is completely interrupted, con completely interrupted means it is coming to zero. Okay. So you have to take 15 as the initial current and zero as the final current. Okay. It's completely interrupted in 0 0.01 seconds. So T is equal to 0 0.01 seconds. Okay. So all the three factors you can calculate. Okay. Next. Next question, a conductor 12 centimeter in length with a uniform velocity 2 meter per second at right angle to itself and to a uniform magnetic field having a flux density of 1 Weber square meter. Calculate the induced EMF between the ends of the conductor. Now, the previous problem you had understood. Shall I proceed? I will wait for your response because uh, it is as though uh, I am continuously going on very faster. Just tell me if you're okay, if you understood this problem, then I'll proceed to the next one. I wanted your response in the chat box. Understood? Explain again. Vasant Manasa. Okay. Okay, see here. Yeah? I felt that actually. So only I came back to this question. Okay. See, first they are asked to calculate the inductance of the coil, right? Inductance formula we have already calculated L is equal to N square by S. Okay. So N square by S, here the number of turns is given, thousand turns, but S is not given. Okay. Yes, you have to calculate. Using the formula L by mu naught mu R A. Clear? So what is L? They are given the mean diameter. Okay, with that you calculate the length. Length is going to be 2 pi R. We have calculated all this. Previously, ma'am has dealt also all these problems. How to calculate the length if the mean diameter is given? Okay, so 40 centimeter and then mu naught. Mu naught value, you know, mu naught is going to be 4 pi into 10 power minus 7. 
okay next mu r as i told you mu r uh, uh, they not given the value so put a word that it has been assumed that air core the uh, it is going to be a air core the uh, solenoid okay or air core conductor okay and take the mu r value as equal to 1 okay and area area pi r square okay so, uh, resist diameter is given ah. okay and the area is given directly so no need to calculate the area area 20 mm -hmm. cm square is given okay so calculate that right so l is equal to n square by s you can calculate the self impact Next, they had asked to calculate the energy stored in the magnetic field. So, E is equal to half into L I square. Okay, half into L I square. L you had calculated already here. Current is given of fifteen amps. So, substitute here. You will get it as E is equal to half into L I per L I square. Okay, you will get the energy stored. Unit is joules. Energy is joules. Okay. Next, the E M F induced. EMF induced has to be calculated. E is equal to L di by dt. Okay. Now they are told in the brown in the third part the EMF induced in the coil the current is completely interrupted is zero point zero one seconds. So zero point zero one seconds means from fifteen amps it is coming to zero. Completely interrupted is completely stopped. Okay. So it is going to be zero. So fifteen. Minus zero, or you can take if you are taking final minus initial, you can take it as zero minus fifteen. Anyway, the negative sign will be uh, not considered. Okay, divided by the time period, T is equal to zero point zero one seconds. Okay, so E is equal to L D I by D T. The inductance you have, yeah, inductance we are calculated here. Current, the change in current fifteen minus zero divided by zero point zero one. Okay. We'll proceed with the next one. Next one is going to be a simple problem. A conductor, twelve centimeter in length. Okay, conductor, twelve centimeter in length with a uniform velocity of two meter per second at right angles to itself, and to a uniform magnetic field having a flux density of one Weber square meter. Okay, calculate the EMF induced between the ends of the conductor. Right, so the B value is given. B value is one Weber per meter square. Velocity is given two meter per second, and L is going to be twelve uh, into ten per minus two. So the formula is E is equal to B L V sine theta. As they have told at right angle, the conductor is moving at right angles. You will take theta is equal to ninety degrees. Okay. If they have not mentioned the angles, you will just use the form formula. E is e is equal to B L V. Okay, if they have not given the angle, it means it is going to be a linear movement, and you well you can consider E is equal to B L. Okay, uh, this you will get the answer uh, simply by substituting it. Okay, now next next problem you listen. A bar of cross section. A bar is going to be an iron bar of cross-sectional area, five centimeter square, as ten power minus six Weber. Okay, find the magnetic flux density. The relative formality of the iron is thousand eight hundred. Okay, what is the magnetic field strength? So see here, what is the magnetic field strength? They are asked to find out the H value. Okay, so what all is given? Area is given five into ten power minus four. So square centimeter, it is centimeter square. So you will centimeter means ten power minus two. Centimeter square means it will be ten power minus four. So area is equal to five into ten power minus four. Okay, and flux flux is ten power minus six Weber. Okay, find magnetic flux density. So use this formula. B is equal to five by A. Okay, flux is given. When area is given, so B is equal to five by A. You will get the answer. Okay, next. H has been asked to be calculated. So B is equal to mu naught mu r H. Okay, B you had already calculated here. Mu naught value you know. Mu naught is going to be four pi into ten power minus seven. Mu r permeability of the iron that is given to be thousand eight hundred. So H value you can just rearrange the equation and find. This is okay. This problem is simple only. Can I proceed, ma? 
you post me in the chat box so that i'll proceed to the next one we have one or two more that's all with that we will complete you had understood this problem shall we move on yes okay thank you ma thank you vasan thank you siva sai sai ram okay next one a coil this is also very simple a coil has 1000 turns it carries a current of 2 amperes find the magnetic field intensity when the length of the coil is 50 cm so n is given 1000 turns once n is given 1000 turns current is 2 and the length is going to be 50 cm so 50 into 10 power minus 2 meters so the value of h is equal to the formula for h is h is equal to ni by l so all the data are given just by direct substitution 4000 ampere turns per meter the similar problem we had worked out in the yesterday's class okay now next question next question One second. A magnetic circuit has a uniform cross-sectional area five centimeter square and a length of twenty-five centimeter. A coil of hundred turns is wound in uniformly the magnetic circuit when the current in the coil is two amperes. Okay, the flux is zero point three. Webers calculate the magnetic force related to permeability and magnetic flux density. Okay, here the answer is itself we solved. Uh, just see here. One second. One minute, ma'am. Okay. See here, area has been given. Okay, uh, area is five into ten power minus four. Okay, and the number of turns is given to be hundred. Okay, length twenty five centimeter. Current is two amps, and the flux is also given as zero point three webers. Okay. Now first they had asked to calculate the magnetizing force. Okay. Magnetizing force is nothing but the magnetic field intensity. Okay, so you will have it as h is equal to n i by l. The formula is h is equal to n i by l. The number of turns is already given. Current is given by length. So you will get it as 800 ampere turns per meter. If you want, you take a snapshot of this. It's all with the answers also. Answers also given here. This problem was repeated twice. Okay, next. Next, relative permeability has to be calculated. So you know B is equal to mu h, or B is equal to mu not mu r h. Okay, for that you have to calculate B value. Okay, B value we know B is equal to five by a. Flux is given. Flux is zero point three webers. Area is five into ten per minus four. Okay, so you will calculate that as six hundred webers per meter square. So after calculation of B. Substitute in the other equation. B is equal to mu naught. Mu naught is four pi into ten power minus seven. Mu r value you have to calculate. H value you already know it is eight hundred. So substituting you will get pi nine seven and double three. Okay, just rearrangement of the expressions. That's all. Take a snapshot of this or note down the problem. I'll wait for one minute.
So like this problems they are asking in part B. Okay, finding out H, B, mu R, all that, all those. Okay, shall I proceed, ma? Just post me in the chat box so that I'll move on to the next one. Yes. Okay. Right. One more problem. The number of turns in the two coupled coils are 600 and 1700 respectively. So, see the diagram is given N1, N2. So, two number of turns are given 600 and 1700. When a current of 6 amps flows in coil 2, the total flux in the coil is 0 0.8 millivapers. Okay, flux linking in the first coil is 0 0.5 millivapers. Calculate L1, L2, M and K. Okay, now you have to check out the data first. What are the given data? See, 600 and 1700 are given N1 and N2. So, N1, N2 is given 1700. Okay, next current flowing in the coil 2 is given as 6 amperes. So, I2 is equal to 6 amperes. Okay. Next, the total flux in the coil is 0 0.8. So, the total flux means it is induced in the secondary coil. So, you will have it as phi 2 is equal to 0 0.8 millivapor. 0 0.8 millivapor. Milli, you know, it is 10 per minus 3. And the flux linking in the first coil, flux linking in the first coil means it is going to be 521. 521 is 0.5 millivapers. You have to calculate L1, L2, M, and K. Okay. Now, see here. Now, L2 you can calculate directly. L2 is equal to. Now, this is one of the important question. Uh, just listen. L2 is equal to N2 phi 2 by I2. So, all the values are given. N2 is given 1700. Uh, phi 2 is given as 0.8 millivapers divided by I2. I2 is equal to 6. Okay, so you will have it as 0 0.227 in 3. Okay, now L2 is calculated. Next, calculate K value, coefficient of coupling value. So you have the formula 512 by 51 or 521 by 52, right? So this will be 521 by 52. You have both the data here. So you can divide K is equal to 0 0.625. Clear? Next, you have one more formula. L is equal to N square mu A by L. L is equal to N square mu A by L. Okay, this is the same formula. L is equal to N square by S, right? L is equal to N square by S. The same formula. Yeah, you know S is equal to L by mu naught mu R A. Instead of mu naught mu R, we have just put it as mu. That's all. Okay, now... We can, we know L1 is equal to N1 square mu A by L. And L2 is equal to N2 square mu A by L. See, reluctance is not going to change. And reluctance is not going to change, right? So now relating this both expression, L, L2 by L1 is equal to N plus you have to make a note. Okay. So, from this expression, L1 and L2, by dividing this both expression, you can take L2 by L1 is equal to N2 square by N1 square. Okay. This is the one we have not dealt with. Okay. So, by rearranging the equation, you can tell L1 is equal to L2 into N1 square by N2 square. Clear? Or L2, we had already calculated 0 0.227. N1, N2, from the given data, we can take. So, L1 is equal to 0 0.028 in place. Okay. Now, L1 value we have got. Now, using the coefficient of coupling formula, M is equal to K into root of L1, L2, you can get M value. Okay. M value is 0 0.05 in place. Okay. I wanted you to take a snapshot of this because this uh, type of problem we have not worked out. Just take a quick, uh, make a note of it such that we will move to the next one.
Yes, Gautami Vinod Tatkar. You have some doubt? You can unmute yourself and ask. No? Okay. Any other doubt you have, man, the third unit? Okay, ma'am. Ma'am? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, I will take care. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. I will stop share. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, good morning, students. So today you have uh, continuously two hours for electrical electronics. Um, okay, ma. So I think um, uh, we have completed three units. That means we completed uh, three electrical uh, units. Uh, here only you will face problems. So fourth and fifth unit is entirely electronics. It's a theoretical part. Okay. So uh, I don't want to start the fourth unit uh, by this week. So next week we will start fourth unit. Okay. So today we will revise the third unit. So before, uh, yeah, I am getting some good morning messages. Yeah, good morning to Alma. So before uh, starting the third unit, uh, sorry, yeah, revision of first unit, uh, yesterday the Satya Bama, uh, I think uh, your um, gear coordinator also put the message in Telegram. Uh, that is the day one we have uh, got uh, nearly some 668 students have got placed. Yeah, you people have to know that uh, uh, in Cognizant uh, and uh, Capgemini and Wipro, uh, they have recruited and they got the results in day one uh, for 2017 to 21 batch. That is the final year batch. You all know you belong to which batch? 2020 to 24 batch. Okay. And you know the importance in online, ma, because uh, daily we were getting so many absentees. I don't know why. Because uh, even uh, this uh, practice we started by uh, eight months back and uh, during that period you will be uh, you're waiting for your results and all. But now you have joined in your online class, give some importance to the class. Ma. See, the recruiters even they have conducted the exam in online and they conducted the interview also in online. So uh, we never uh, know how the interview is going in the interview panel. But uh, once uh, during the placement, we were inside that uh, uh, meeting and we have seen how the students were answering to the panel and all. So people uh, give some importance uh, even in online mode also, it's very difficult to uh, listening uh, in online that I can know well, but uh, you people, some of them were putting the answers yeah, yeah, um, yeah, uh, Bhuneshwari, ma'am. If I can't come, be able to complete tomorrow also, we will have a unit yes, yes. one revision. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, okay, uh, go to, uh, yeah, students, uh, uh, the exact placement, uh, we don't know, but the final result is 668, and uh, your uh, counselor have put up for CSE branch alone in your uh, uh, Telegram link, but 50 percentage of the uh, students who have uh, qualified for the placement got placed is today and some of them have got placed in three companies so people you understand that in four years um, you have uh, some major goals achieve that follow that uh, the staff members and we were and Satyabama all are working for your thing so attend the class regularly listen the class and I am seeing some of the students not connected with your audio so that's I'm repeatedly putting the message not connecting the audio means you can't listen what I'm saying to you you just turn on your uh, um, link and you are going somewhere else is not good thing ma because now you all know the school students itself uh, uh, were listening the class in online so uh, you remember you people try to listen it ma uh, you first the important announcement uh, we were giving that uh, your CAE exam will be uh, scheduled to soon 
but uh, the portion will be unit 1 and 2 but it will be announced by your uh, year coordinator and our uh, project team members so wait until that okay and one more thing you have a uh, two assignments two quiz uh, two cae exams okay from that only we will calculate 50 marks internal marks so you people at at uh, attend and uh, not only that your attendance is also mandatory so the attendance is also mandatory so the internal mark calculation is based on quiz 1 quiz 2 cae 1 cae 2 assignment 1 and assignment 2 so you are first you are putting your uh, steps to write your assignment 1 so i request all 292 students i never seen the 292 in online in single day where your class starts by october 21st and now it's at december 9th till that i am getting on to daily we were posting who are all present who are all absent in our separate group there i am getting nearly 35 students 40 students 50 students maximum 70 students are getting absent and even in 12 to 1 tomorrow class uh, actually we were facing so many absentees don't be like that ma uh, even uh, be listening in online it's very difficult but try to listen in laptop if you have or else uh, you listen in um, Uh, mobile uh, be in the class uh, even uh, because it's your time uh, all your online exams or uh, your uh, uh, ca exams will be conducted exams are at college or online <laughs> actually ca1 and ca2 you have in online only ma but uh, that exam uh, we don't know uh, your final exam uh, because how they are going to schedule uh, still we don't know so you bar for second third final year we got the time table schedule but still first year we didn't receive so wait until that uh, quiz uh, we will get the announcement we will conduct for you are you clear ma so first we were giving that you are supposed to write assignment 1 and already ma'am show us to uh, showed you the question paper you have have to put up only in lms not in any uh, group or don't send us the assignment to us uh, private in whatsapp or telegram we won't consider for the evaluation you are supposed to post only in lms so people start post today fr from today onwards because we have given enormous ma'am have gave enormous problem in the third units and some of them were asked the ma'am whether we have to uh, refer any uh, books and all that is not necessary because we have searched so many university question paper and today ma'am have explained uh, from that question paper only i told you already because you are 2019 batch regulation we have only one question paper from that so we can't able to share the old question paper some of the questions are not in their in your syllabus so you people get confused that's why we were sharing part a and part b ma'am 60 members placed one day in csc <laughs> no ma a uh, 668 uh, from overall our college and uh, that uh, split up which is put up in your uh, group around uh, some 300 i think so uh, from your concern 300 or uh, around uh, 350 i think so you check, you check it in your telegram uh, where uh, sara put up the message so please give the importance to the online class ma because you have seen uh, still uh, the people got placed uh, you all know the online importance uh, now all uh, gone through online uh, even um, our uh, our university conducting the classes in online and uh, your cae exams in online and now we were going to conduct the external exam in online and all so uh, so you people have to understand that uh, i don't know the exact class ma but uh, e gra e section uh, the strength is around 292 madam how member placed in csc regular students regular student you see that and all placement uh, department your uh, placement will take care of that i am just saying that yesterday we got a day one results of placement of final year batch so um, we were saying that uh, la last year uh, even in september we gave the convocation to our uh, passed out student 2060 to 20 batch so everything we were conduct so that i am giving importance to the online so being on online uh, amazon package ma'am <laughs> yeah you will ask uh, some questions okay i will share the ppt for you um, i think um, i don't know i don't know the pa package and all we got the results only okay so i think um,
when was the college reopens uh, how can i upload assessment in lms i have login problems you have any login problems harshit you just talk to your uh, year, year coordinator because it's very important that all your cae exam all two cae exams two quiz and two assignments everything will be in lms so you if you have any uh, problem in login in lms kindly communicate to your uh, year coordinator premit ekap sir then he will resolve the problem and some of the students ask us to post the um, uh, recorded classes so if it is recorded in cloud automatically you all know csc students it can be uh, loaded with passcode but uh, when we recorded personally in our computer uh, it's a very large file it is very difficult to upload in telegram so i think uh, i will talk with sir uh, if any have google drive link we will upload it okay i think uh, we will share the third unit ppt today Uh, college reopen ma'am that uh, once uh, the government norms only we were following so once the government uh, evs sir said sir said to send his assignment to his mail ma'am uh, i don't know what he said but our uh, subject coordinator so all the subject have subject coordinator we are the subject handling staff apart from that we have a coordinator for all the class so they will evaluate uh, only through lms so we never encourage uh, you to conduct in uh, to send the mail to us personally or through any other mode see okay, if you upload through lms only your internal marks calculation will go without any problem so please uh, upload only in the lms Uh, students kagoth quiz is not uh, be considered for evolution uh, there is a separate quiz we will conduct only in lms okay don't uh, consider the kagoth quiz is not uh, for evaluating for your internal mark okay uh, i will try to upload today or other some other class uh, sujita why you raised ma any put ma'am i got covid while unit 2 ma'am we need a revision for unit yeah i will start uh, wake uh, you people uh, kindly listen ma okay i think uh, i will start with unit 1 so far uh, uh, we have only 9 hours we completed three units you all know uh, we come we reached nearly 26 hours starting from october 20th so this is our first unit uh, syllabus ma um, i think uh, i have already shared you the syllabus and uh, not too much more in detail you i have posted some important formulas in unit 1 i think uh, you people have uh, remember that i have posted uh, some important formulas so what is the you uh, you need of this important formulas now uh, uh, some uh, they will ask uh, this in two marks or solving problems it's very important so five basic uh, terminologies there charge current voltage power energy so charge is current into time and the unit is coulomb current i can define charge by time uh, it is defined as ampere voltage is nothing but or than per charge or joules per coulomb or else we will uh, mention as volt i everything uh, the definition have given that power means or than per time or uh, we will define voltage into current okay energy is power into time okay so i think uh, what second kilowatt hour are the units so you people kindly uh, i will uh, if possible i will share the unit 1 revision ppt also to you so today i will share unit 3 ppt are you clear so please go through the formulas it's very important for solving problem as well as uh, for definitions are you clear okay and uh, this i have uh, given regarding the resistance you all know the resistance only you are studying in the first unit what is the property of resistance ma the property of resistance is nothing but it will oppose the flow of current yeah i am getting the answers yeah i am getting the answers um, yeah 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 i yeah. neha and uh, rashmita put manas also put okay thank you ma yeah thank you thank you um so so uh, v equal to ir that is ohms law uh, or uh, the property of the resistance r equal to rho l by a i think uh, the next formula r equal to rho l by a 
R equal to rho L by A. Rho is resistivity, R specific resistance. L is the length of the material. A is the area. Okay. Conductance. What is conductance? You all know the resistance unit is what? Ohm. Or else I can represent by C ohm here. Conductance means reciprocal of the resistance. Okay. Specific conductance means reciprocal of specific resistance. Okay. And uh, we have written Kirchhoff's so, uh, voltage law, Kirchhoff's current law, and all. When we have odd semester examination, Subramanian, uh, first we will uh, write uh, all our uh, finish our uh, assessment exams. Then we will move on to our uh, university. That all decided by our controller of examiners, and uh, they will put up your message. Okay, so people, uh, please uh, uh, kindly go through the PPT. KVL, KCL, some of the potential drop is equal to some of the potential rise. KCL, some of the entering current is equal to leaving current. I think it's all uh, shared. Very, very important is you are supposed to know all these four uh, uh, pages contains this uh, uh, formulas PPT for the first unit. Please kindly go through it. Okay, series parallel concept. Series na current same. Okay, voltages are additive. Parallel na voltage is same, current are additive. Okay, both the case power is additive. Here resistance is additive and here conductance is additive. So you understand two resistance are in series. Or uh, uh, if I want to find out the res total resistance R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4. Okay. And two resistance are in parallel. Okay. It's very, very important formula. Ma. 1 by R total equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. Or else I will take the common denominator I can write. R total equal to R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. If three resistance are in parallel, this is the formula. Same thing. 1 by R total equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. R4 now, 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 plus 1 by R4. Are you clear? You are supposed to calculate your R total from this. Okay. So, these are the formula which is based on your series and parallel circuit. Okay. And uh, I have put it here. Current divider rule and voltage divider rule here. Current divider rule will be applied for parallel circuit. And voltage divider rule will apply for series circuit. So you all seen current divider for two branch circuit. This is the formula. You all know this is the basic formula. Total current into opposite resistance by sum of the resistance in the loop. Here total voltage into particular resistance by sum of the resistance. So I think two resistance now, this is the formula. Three resistance in parallel now, this is the formula. Okay, I think uh, these formulas are very important. Okay, I think uh, I total R1, R2 means the two resistance are in parallel. R1, R2, R3 now, three resistance are in parallel. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, then this is uh, to transfer the voltage source to current source mainly uh, used in nodal circuit. So if voltage source uh, and the resistance in parallel, this is the way to convert uh, the current source and uh, uh, how to connect now, V equal to, I equal to V by R and connect that resistance in parallel. It's a vice versa. This is voltage source to current source transformation and this is to current source to voltage source transformation. Okay, and uh, see students, I think, uh, I think it's visible for you. Okay, I have uh, taken some important uh, university part A questions now. So please kindly go through the university part and part A questions. Ma. What is the first question? Differentiate electric power and energy. Very, very important question and repeatedly asked university question. What is uh, power and what is energy? We all know, uh, okay, uh, power is nothing but uh, work done per time and energy is nothing but uh, power into time. Okay, power the unit is watts and the energy the unit is watt second or else the highest unit is kilowatt hour. Okay, I think uh, we gave the definition. Power means measured in parts. Energy means measured in uh, watt second or kilowatt hour. Okay, power means V into I. Uh, energy means power into time that you have to ensure. Okay, then the next important, state the factors influence the resistance of a conductor. 
we all know the formula for resistance now only i told you r equal to rho l by a so rho means resistivity length of the conductor area of the conductor so this is very important question i am getting some answers uh, yeah i am having a problem okay ma ma'am share the ppt to telegram send this questions also okay ma tomorrow only i will complete the unit 1 revision so after that i will share to you okay today i will share unit 3 ppt okay now give two applications for series and parallel combination you all know parallel it's mainly used in household domestic wiring and all uh, we will use parallel but series circuit what is circuit breaker uh, i think uh, uh, some of you have learned uh, when you have uh, turn on your ac you have a uh, one switch old and days uh, you don't have that kind of switch now we are uh, that is a circuit breaker so when i want to connect my circuit yeah yeah mcg yeah mohit is very correct uh, so if i want to connect my circuit breaker and uh, my fuse it always be connected in series so that is series circuit applications or else uh, nowadays uh, in during the my wedding and all you have some decorating lights that is also connected in series okay so series and all uh, mainly i have uh, uh, posted that applications uh, these are all university part a questions are you clear okay i think i will uh, shall i move on to the next ppt ma yeah manas also circuit mcb okay and uh, define ohms law and another important question define ohms law okay we all know the ratio between uh, the voltage to uh, temperature is always constant that parameter is taken as a resistance at what condition v by i is constant now at the when you have to take the physical condition the temperature should not change that is uh, ohms law so you people have to know ohms law then kirchhoff's law state kirchhoff's law you all know kirchhoff's current law and kirchhoff's voltage law that only i have divide uh, you have uh, right some of the entering current equal to some of the leaving current or else uh, some of the potential drop is equal to some of the potential rise or else in single point you will write the algebraic sum of the potential around the closed loop is zero okay define electrical uh, conductance what is conductance ma reciprocal of the resistance is conductance you all know the reciprocal of the uh, conductance is uh, uh, reciprocal of the resistance is conductance so resistance will oppose the flow of current so conductance will inductance uh, induce the flow of current that is the thing and uh, the unit is uh, g and uh, sorry unit symbol is g unit is mo r equal to rho l by a or else i can put g equal to sigma a by l you all know sigma means what 1 by rho resistivity state two salient points for series combination what is salient na important points okay so series parallel they are series means what current is same voltage will be distributed and uh, rt uh, resistance are additive power are additive voltage are additive so they asked only two salient points but i have listed out uh, some five points uh, to remember uh, very easily okay so i have uh, taken uh, nearly i am getting some seven questions repeated university part a question are you clear or not repeated university part a questions are uh, this and now part b question listen uh, in the first unit is they ask any theory question uh, this is the probable two theory question the, uh, they never ask any other questions okay all are maximum problems maximum you will expect problem Uh, if sometime you ask uh, if they ask the theory uh, you are not confident in problem you are supposed to write the theory but in first unit you have to definitely confident in problem are you clear or not okay state ohms law and kirchhoff voltage law they will ask in uh, six marks not uh, in uh, 16 mark you all know part b means it's a 16 mark question it will not be asked in 16 mark it is a six mark question write detailed notes on series parallel that can be asked in 
ten mark or uh, sixteen mark. Uh, so you have to define series and parallel. So already we have shared the PPT for you uh, for series and parallel circuits. So this is the probable. um part b question the remaining and all all are problems you never expect any theory question in the first unit i told you now the first three units the first unit uh, you can expect uh, only problems because uh, there is a least chance of asking a uh, uh, theoretical question okay okay i will move on to the next ppt ma okay students uh, please listen please kindly listen Uh, it's very very important uh, thing. Even those who are not uh, uh, were not joined or now you have any doubt on uh, uh, understanding and all, you please kindly uh, listen. Evaluate the current through two ohm resistance. Okay, actually I will write using mesh. I have missed out that. Okay, using mesh analysis. Okay. So people, I have to go through uh, two important thing. I think uh, today I will uh, stop uh, on a mesh alone. I will uh, discuss tomorrow. We will discuss nodal. So uh, one thing you have to understand how many meshes are there. So I think you will easily understand how many mesh are here, ma. People kindly post how many mesh are here, students. I need answers. How many mesh are here? Yes, ma'am. They are sending to me actually. Three <laughs> meshes there. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Many okay. response. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, students. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, three uh, meshes are there. So you have to assume all the current in same direction, whether it may be a clockwise or anti-clockwise. But try to assume all the currents in. same direction that is very very important so i think they have given in current in one direction don't get confused okay so you may consider in any way but they are considered na you also consider like this okay i think i have taken the three currents you may number it in any way uh, that won't be leads a problem okay i1 i2 i3 okay so first thing important thing is identify the number of mesh are you clear or not identify the number of mesh and identify the currents which is flowing so i have assumed three currents okay in a direction i1 i2 and i3 are you clear or not okay now you all know mesh mesh means we will use the concept resistance matrix into current matrix gives voltage matrix that is our ohms law resistance matrix into current matrix gives voltage matrix that is for ohms law are you clear okay number of mesh equal to number uh, order of resistance matrix so you all know here three meshes are there na uh, sai kumar what is your doubt ma uh, you please put it in chat ma so uh, i think uh, i will take 1 2 3 1 2 and 3 okay 3 cross 3 matrix okay order of resistance matrix is equal to number of mesh 1 1 1 1 means what resistance connected in the first mesh so i think uh, what are the resistance in the first mesh ma 2 ohm 8 ohm 3 ohm okay so you have to write how you will write 2 plus 8 plus 3 are you clear 1 and 2 resistance between first mesh and second mesh if you assume all the currents in same direction don't see uh, the direction of the current and all you can put the negative uh, symbol between two meshes okay while you are writing the common resistance you can put the negative that's why i ask you to assume all the currents in same direction irrespective of the voltage source so you just see what is the common resistance between first node and second node ma what is the first mesh and second mesh 
this is my first mesh and this is my second so what is the common resistance between first mesh and second mesh uh, you send me eight so i told you all are in same directions now that i can put minus eight are you clear okay one and three the common resistance between first mesh and that actually your thing is we are going to use only inspection method don't uh, get confused on writing kirchhoff's law because uh, it's uh, only thing is if you write this matrix your answer will be definitely uh, correct and uh, the rest of the thing is uh, uh, have only the mathematics so people try to understand that writing the matrix only the challenging part if you write it correctly then the remaining rest of the thing will be very easy one and three what is the common resistance between first mesh and the second mesh ma yeah three ohm so you put minus three okay that's it then two and one same thing one and two and two and one will be same first and second or second and one so that is also minus eight the resistance connected in the second mesh what are the resistance in second mesh ma you just see what are the resistance in the second mesh 8 ohm 2 ohm 4 ohm so you have to write the sum of the resistance so what is the value ma 8 plus 2 plus 4 are you listening okay 2 1 3 what is the common resistance between 2 and 3 ma what is the common resistance between 2 and 3 you just see what is the common resistance between 2 and 3 it's a 4 ohm so i told you you can put minus 4 okay then 3 and 1 i uh, again 1 and 3 and 3 and 1 will be same only so minus 3 the common resistance between third and first mesh then 3 and 2 now only we have written that is also minus 4 okay third and second mesh 3 3 resistance connected in the third mesh what are the resistance in the third mesh ma you just see 3 ohm 4 ohm 5 ohm so you are supposed to write 3 plus 4 plus 5 actually it is 4 okay i think uh, i have to erase and write three plus four plus five okay and the current what are the current ma i1 i2 i3 okay so i have written the next two one is i have to look up the voltage matrix you all see uh, this is all in the first unit only dc supply so only batteries will be your supply so you all know the low uh, the small end is negative and this is positive okay so my current is flowing from you just see my current is flowing from you just see my current is flowing from negative to positive terminal so what i have to write minus to plus na you have to put plus 20 plus to minus na you have to put minus 20 see your current direction and write okay so minus 2 plus so it is plus 20 okay but second and third mesh you don't have any voltage so so you put 0 0 are you clear so writing the matrix only the challenging one once you write the remaining and all very easy so then you what you will do you will write 8 plus 2 10 13 and then here what ma minus 8 and here what minus 3 and here what minus 8 and here what 14 and here what minus 4 minus 3 minus 4 then uh, 
12 i1 i2 i3 equal to equal to 20 zero zero okay now you kindly tell me what is our question evaluate the current through two ohm actually we have a two two ohm resistance but they given clearly this two ohm resistance so this two ohm resistance now we have to find which current tell me put it in the chat box which current we have to find out ma you please uh, send the message to me i am not getting the message i think you people were uh, sending to ma'am yeah yeah very good very good very good i1 i1 why you should we take uh, one and two as a negative karthik uh, while you are writing uh, the common resistance between two mesh you always put negative sign karthik because we assumed all the currents in same direction so you while you are assuming mesh kindly assume all the currents in same then it is very easy to put the common resistance as a negative and uh, the remaining one as a uh, positive or you clear or not no, not okay so we have to find out ma'am in the question two uh, two two ohms are present magesh that is current but uh, in the figure you just see uh, they have given in figure find the current in two ohm resistance they have given clearly here see uh this uh, current only they have mentioned uh you just see this current only they mentioned they have given this current i only that's why we have supposed to find out this sorry are you clear or not okay so now you have to find out so which rule you have to form a which rule we have to form and uh, find out Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, Kramas Rulma. Yeah, Indra Sena. Very good. Uh, yeah, yeah. I am getting Ham, Magesh, K, Manth. All are putting the answers. Yeah, very good. So I one equal to. I will write in another ink to differentiate. And I one equal to del one by del. So. you all know del1 na you replace the first column by matrix so you all know how to calculate so very simple 20 0 0 -8 14 -4 -3 -4 12 divided by del you all know del you have to calculate from this matrix del you have to calculate from this matrix are you clear students are you clear okay i think uh, ma'am yes ma'am ma'am ma what yes, is the time ma'am 10:30 we can wind uh, up yeah yeah students uh, you just see that we'll continue uh, tomorrow class tomorrow i need a answer for this problem are you clear so kindly take the snapshot see i am saying the importance of the online class now the strength is 235 till you are not waiting till uh, the staff is uh, ending the session so whether you will follow or you will do in the, in the classroom while taking the class you will go out uh, so please follow some decorum in the online class also this is for your sake uh, you have be a professional students be pro behave uh, professionally is yes, clear ma so please kindly take down and tomorrow i will ask the answer for this problem yes thank you yeah yeah thank you students uh, thank you we will meet tomorrow thank you ma Ma'am, shall I end the session because? Yeah, we, uh, yeah, ma'am. Uh, I think uh, I can. We will end. We cannot leave. I think. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, ma'am. Yes, I will end, I will end it. Ah, uh, uh, okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.